Welcome forward to star 26 of our reflections and uh, the three words we're going to use as a way of orientating ourselves through the scriptures, if you like, like stars, are respect, queen of trustfulness and guardian of virgins. Again, that link with uh, Mary and uh, Joseph. So going straight in and continuing with Matthew 6. And whenever you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to stand and pray in the synagogues and at the street corners, so that they may be seen by others. Truly I tell you, they have received their reward. But whenever you pray, go into your room and shut the door and pray to your Father who is in secret. And your Father who sees in secret will reward you. So if you want to stop the video and give that some thought, please do so. And again, I'm automatically struck by the comparison with yesterday or Star 25 about doing things with a motive of being seen by others and looking at the scriptures literally, again, using that Lama model, if you're looking at it literally, then it's saying that you get your reward by, I suppose, what others, I suppose, from what other people see you do and then they praise you. So your motive for sort of praying in this particular case is being seen by others praying so they think maybe you're, I don't know, maybe you're religious or so forth, or you're a good person. However, this does talk about, again, therefore challenges your motive for doing things and therefore this links back to the Magnificat which we talked about yesterday which is about I suppose everything's a gift from God and if people think you're doing good but they praise God everything comes from God so if I'm a, a good person or I act in a particular way then actually it's come from God that's a gift from God which talks about it again, you could link back to the Beatitudes, dependency on God. And that makes me think of a, a, one of the Psalms, another Psalm about when you, um, there's a, a line or a couple of lines that say, I praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. I absolutely love that. And uh, again, it's praising God for the fact that you've been made in that particular way and it's not due to you that you are fearfully and wonderfully made and i also use that short prayer when i think about i suppose my family my children and and home life and actually all the people at uh, school and so forth so it's everybody has been fearfully and wonderfully made so it, I, I do try to think about that it's worth giving that some thought but this does link back to the previous star and about questioning your motive for doing things So, what what are my motives for praying what are my motives for doing these reflections and, and that's an interesting thought so I'll give that some more thought but it is interesting and it is about I suppose going back to yesterday the words diligence so it's cultivating um, a prayer life and again if we cultivate a prayer life then that's because of faith and if we cultivate the prayer life then our relationship with Jesus and God and therefore we're more likely to love and therefore we're more likely to live a life of service and and respectfulness really but that then links back to the the concepts of queen of trustfulness where Mary um, through a, a life of service through a trust in God and that's really important with her yes for everybody so again you can really reflect on that and and draw out a lot from that and therefore she would have had to have i suppose diligent being diligent with her prayer life and being incredibly respectful and so forth with her prayer life and with herself and other people and then you're bringing in the guardian of virgins which refers to joseph and he would have had to have been I suppose linking it in with the words incredibly respectful which is what he was and therefore he was chosen to be the husband and the foster father of Jesus because of that pure respect he had for other people 
and for prayer life. So we would have been really cultivating that as we, as we know from our previous reflections and reading the scriptures. So just trying to sort of bring that, um, I suppose, to an end really, and it just thinking it through, I've got to give it some more thought and I'm still caught with the previous, again, like I said, um, on star 24 about how all these scriptures by using this slow method of trying to use the words to extract meaning from the scriptures I'm beginning to see more links between the scriptures as well and all the words forming these constellations so they're becoming slightly more complex because I'm seeing more links which is a good thing and I just need to give I wish I had more time to think and, and talk that through so I'll leave us with the following questions about we do really need to be sort of questioning the motive of why we do things. And is it to be seen by others to get their respect? Are we trying to seek the respect of others? Or are we doing it because actually we love God and we want a more dynamic, adventurous relationship with, uh, with God? Or is it just for our own ego, our own selfishness? and just to be looking good in the eyes of others? Or is it because we generally do want to live a life of service with the, you know, the strength and the fruits, or the strength given to us by the Holy Spirit and therefore with the fruits of the Holy Spirit and the gifts of the Holy Spirit and so forth. So again, I can see how all those words are linking in. So lots to think about, lots of questions there. And I'll certainly be giving this one a lot more thought. So as always, I appreciate this reflection was longer than normal. God bless.